the concept is like this. Okay, let's say you want to buy a cash machine. Okay, this is a cash machine. All right, how to know what is the value of this cash machine? Okay, let's say this cash machine can give you one thousand dollars. That's it. How much were you willing to pay for to buy this cash machine? How much? The, this cash machine only can give you one thousand dollars. That's it. So be less than one thousand dollar, right? So the value for this cash machine uh, is one thousand dollars. Intrinsic value is one thousand dollars. Okay. But let's say the other cash machine, and they, this cash machine, right? They give you cash, cash, cash. Give you uh, every year they give this cash machine give you one thousand dollars. Okay, one thousand dollars per year. Assuming that the, this cash machine only can give you for ten years. Okay, so ten times one thousand dollars in ten years. So what is the value or what is the intrinsic value of this cash machine? Is it ten thousand dollars? Less than ten thousand dollars, right? Right. It's not ten thousand dollars because you receive the money in future. Okay, future ten thousand, future one thousand dollars in future is worth less than one thousand dollars now. Right? That's why you will not willing to pay ten thousand dollars. You are willing to pay less than one uh, ten thousand dollars. Right? So this is intrinsic value. Oh? So you can actually think of this as a company. The cash machine is the company. And the cash that they give to you is the dividend or the earning or the cash flow. Right? So you discount the future earning to the current value, which is the intrinsic value. Okay, so this is the concept of future earning, the discounted method. Discount the future earning. Huh? And now the, the, the purpose is we need to find this intrinsic value. Huh? And this is the, again, it's quite, a, you also know about this chart. Instead of NAV or instead of CNF, now we have intrinsic value. Okay? By using the discounted method. Later, I'll, I'll tell you how to calculate this intrinsic value, right? You buy below this intrinsic value, and you sell. Of course, it's above intrinsic value, right? So this is the concept. And now the, we need to find out how to get this intrinsic value, right? Oh, so this is a formula. Ah, formula, very complicated one. Yeah, it's not simple plus and minus. Uh, uh, EPS is earning per share. Okay, first year earning per share, second year earning per share. You add, add, add until ten years. Uh, the the earning per share. Okay, uh, R is like discount factor. Okay, uh, because in uh, the month the future earning worth less than today earning, right? So we need to divide, uh, uh. Anyway, I know that this uh, formula is very complicated. Okay, I won't ask you to calculate this. I'll give you a calculator, right? Uh, so if you know if you know the input right earning per share the discount factor then you will get the intrinsic value. 